White Lily Light and Fluffy Biscuits. Let's get started. So here we have some White Lily Flower. Now this is from, most of my grandmas use this flower because this flower it rises all, it says right here, it says the light baking flower, self-rising. So we use that instead of using yeast just because we like to really. So what we need to do is we need to add our sh all vegetable shortening and we need to put it in here into the flour. Come on, go! Go you vegetable shortening! Now we need to mix it up. And we need to mix it up because that helps the flour because we don't want it to be sticking together. So what the vegetable shortening does is it gives it a little bit more fat and because it helps it not stick together in big clumps and ch chunks and stuff like that. <clears throat> now that we've gotten our flour all mixed up with with the shortening you can kind of tell because at the beginning we had giant big clumps but see what the shortening did see it started breaking up the flour just so it's not sticking all together okay now it's time to add our buttermilk and for me I really don't like taking drinking the buttermilk by itself. It, it, it's just not my f flavor or texture. Now, some people might like it, but the most thing that I like it for is for cooking. That's the best thing for it. It tastes a oh. It tastes a lot better. When Put in like biscuits, chickens, stuff like that. If you're drinking it by yourself, by itself, I definitely not would recommend it. <clears throat> this is gonna take a while. I'll 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 be back once we roll out the dough. Now that we have our dough nice and ready, we're going to sprinkle our white lily flour on the counter. And just take a big clump of it and just spread it out all the way. That's good. I think that's already good. Oh, we need to put the dough right here. We're gonna flip it over. Then we're gonna push it down on it some more. My family really likes to make layers, but you need to make sure that it's only about two of a two of a third of an inch, because we don't want it to be too big, because that can cause problems with cooking, and we don't want it too thin, to, so we don't have thin biscuits. You know, my Nana actually made this apron and the name Peapod, that is the nickname she calls me. So, Peep, she, called, she likes to call me Peapod and my brother, he's called Butterbean. Now it's time to cut out our biscuits. Speaking of cut out, we're trying to make 12 biscuits. So that reminds me of a multiplication fact. Three times four is 12. <clears throat> and, oh, I forgot to mention this. So your biscuits, might, like kind of like how mine are looking right now, you might think, well, Thomas, these biscuits 
See, some of them aren't like the others, but that's okay. We'll just have smaller and some will be smaller and some will be bigger. It, it really doesn't matter as, as long as you have a biscuit. Now that we've cut our biscuits into squares, which by the way, if you have not tried them, you are so missing out. Now we need to put them in our oven for 475 and we'll check them at eight minutes just to see if they're golden brown. If they're not, we'll just let them in there for about nine or 10 minutes. Now that the biscuits are golden and crispy, my assistant here, Butterbean, or my brother, William, he is going to, can you put, can, okay, so, so you need to, can you put the brush in, in the butter and then brush the biscuits? Can you do that? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Now brush those biscuits. Can you brush the biscuits? Good job, William. Good job. You, you are very good at this. I really didn't think you'd be that quick at it. You did very good. William, you are a very good chef. Oh, okay, okay. Do this one now. You butter cat. <laughs> Can you say golden? Okay, let's pick up the biscuit. You want to take a bite? Mm -hmm. This is going to be our test biscuit to see how well. Here's a bite. Is it good? Hot. Yeah, it is. It is kind of hot, to be fair. Yeah, a little piece. This is so good. I feel like I'm in heaven of taste buds. Good, good. Well, that's all for today. See you next time.